Hello guys, welcome to Sovereign Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your Sovereign problems. Thanks for coming to class today. We are going to continue on our leveling computation series. The last time we tried to compute for the reduced level, today we want to compute the corrected level. And in order to do that, we are going to look at some some of the formula we use to determine the what the allowable error or let's say the allowable misclosure for the different accuracy level that means first order second order third order or maybe any lower order so without much ado let's look at the formula here now we have um, a set of formula here where we said we have for the first order the accuracy can be determined by what four millimeter root k for second order you can compute for the accuracy by saying 8.4 millimeter root k for third order you have 12 millimeter root k for control leveling that is maybe school exercises not projects maybe just to learn or stuff like that we have 24 millimeter root k now where the k is equal to the distance covered in kilometer this k means the total distance covered in what in kilometer now if you look at this you might ask okay how did we get the back side the intermediate side fourth side our rise and fall and reduce level the solutions to this particular problem is actually on the channel so by the time you check on our description um, section you will see that we've actually attached the link to this video where you can see how we started the whole process and we got to this point but today we are not going to consider much of this we are just going to determine what the allowable misclosure then we distribute the misclosure along the world along the stations it's all right so for this particular leveling exercise it was actually what a control leveling it was not of a very high accuracy we have 24 millimeter root k as our what as a formula we are going to use to compute for our allowable error so before that we are going to know what our total distance is what's our total distance on the question we are told that it was covering 20 meter interval that means the level was taken at an interval of what 20 meter so if the level was taken at interval of 20 meter it means from the benchmark to the to the first point it was 20 meter from that point to another point subsequent point 20 meter until we got to the last point so we are now assuming that our last point is also what a benchmark because that's where the leveling closed therefore we are going to have a reduced level for it or we are going to have an height for it so if this last point is actually a benchmark it might not necessarily be that getting to that last point will give us what 20 meter it might be less it definitely has to be less because if it is not less then maybe we have to break it down or we can just put it on it but the most important thing is that from getting to that point it was not up to 20 meter we have 14.5 meter so since it is 14.5 meter this is actually where the level closed so we are now going to calculate maybe we are add everything up to know what the total distance covered during this leveling exercise so how do we do it we have 20 40 60 80 100 120 so 120 plus 14.5 so we have something like 120 plus 14.5 so we have 135 134.5 that's 134.5 meters that was actually the total distance covered during this particular leveling exercise so we have what 134.5 meters i hope it is clear i hope it is clear how did you get it we added all the distances together that was how we got it so it's very simple now on the formula the this k is actually the total distance covered but it's in what it's in kilometer so we are going to convert this value to kilometer so converting it to kilometer we divide it by 1000 so by the time we divide this value by 1000 we have something like 0 0.135 so we have 0 0.135 what kilometer are we together it's all right therefore using this formula of 24 millimeter root k we can now say we have something like 24 millimeter root what 0 0.135 are we together please 
we are trying to compute for the allowable error we are supposed to get on this word on this particular leveling so we have something like 24 times 10 raised to power minus 3 meter root word 0 0.135 this 10 raised to power minus 3 is actually converting this millimeter to meter or you divide it by 1000 straight now how do we get this value on our calculator remember we already have this so we can say the square root of the answer we have before which is the square root of the total distance multiplied by 24 millimeter so let's just put everything in a bracket 24 times what times 10 raised to power minus 3 that means we are converting that 24 to what to meter then we close our bracket therefore the allowable error we are supposed to get for this particular leveling exercise is 0 0.09 meter so it should not go beyond what 0 0.09 meter i hope we are together did you understand how we went about it what we did was that the first thing we had to convert the total distance covered towards to kilometer and total distance covered was 134.5 converting it to kilometer we have something like 0 0.135 kilometer the next thing we are using this formula for control leveling which is 24 millimeter root k so we are now going to substitute the values so 24 millimeter this millia is 10 raised to power minus 3 that means if you want to convert it to meter it's actually a prefix so dividing this 24 by 1000 or multiplying it by 10 raised to power minus 3 automatically convert it to what to meter therefore when you say 24 times 10 raised to power minus 3 or 24 divided by 1000 times okay i think i should just put the multiplication sign here for convenience times what the square root of 0 0.135 by the time you impute all this on your calculator you have this result here as what 0 0.009 so this 0 0.009 is actually what the allowable error we are going to get or we are supposed to get for this particular leveling exercise are we together please it's all right now we are going to move to the next level of how we are going to what to determine the misclosure for these are our last points that means the correction rather for this our last point and how we are going to distribute what the error to the subsequent to the subsequent point so to do this i'm going to see you on the next video so thanks for coming around to class today um, I hope you learned something. The most important thing here is that how you are going to what, how you are going to get your misclosure. And we've told you how you are going to get your allowable misclosure for any particular level. So the same the same method we went through. You call for the first for the first order, you say the distance covered in kilometer, then four millimeter. Four millimeter is same thing as four times ten raised to power minus three meter. I hope you get it it's all right so for the second order you have 8.4 millimeter same thing as 8.4 times 10 to power minus 3 meter then you see the square root of the total distance covered in what in kilometers so i believe you got something from this video so thanks for coming to class please if you've not subscribed to the channel help us subscribe to the channel and i'll see you on the next video until then make sure you take care of yourself and make sure you stay safe